Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my second journal flip through. If you haven't seen my first one and you would like to, I will link it down below. So this journal is from Walmart's Pen and Gear line. It had 192 pages, so 96 sheets. And this is what I have done to it. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to see post-its throughout the journal. Please keep in mind that this is a personal journal, so there are names, locations, etc. that I just don't want to put out there on the internet. I hope that you understand and I hope that you guys enjoy the video. So um, I just want to like talk about my style really quick. Norm I do it like diary log kind of style, so I will write the date and then whenever I write, I just put the time and write, 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 and then you can see I put the time again. So that was my style for this journal, but I think in my next one it is going to change. So here I was like, it's a new journal, so it's a new beginning. So I just put this quote in here and a little picture of the journal. So here football season started and I just put a little picture of Jamal Adams who plays for the Jets, which I am a fan of. Here is unicorns. By the way, if you have any questions of where stickers or washi are from, feel free to ask me. Here's a Fleetwood Mac page. I just got this off of Tumblr and then just cut that out. I also got a package from Germany, which was pretty cool, so I just put in the label. Princesses. Let's just take a look at that Cinderella. You can't really see it, but it looks different. Here I just did a washi border and I think it looks really cute because the washi goes together. Here's a 50s, 60s kind of theme. Here is just a blue theme. Just some washi tape. This is like really big washi and I didn't really know what else to do with it so I just uh, put it like this and it makes it a little more interesting to write around. Here I decorated it all with things that I won from a giveaway and I also voted for the first time that day which was pretty cool so I stuck the sticker there. Here is a pretty in pink spread. Just Carrie Fisher and Harrison Ford. Just some plants. Here's a Breakfast Club spread. Just a spread with Blake Lively. Hot air balloons. So just a washi border. So fall was starting here and I just made a spread about that. So I tried to do like a school supplies kind of motivating spread, I don't know. This washi is probably my favorite washi. This is just a magazine ad cutout and I just cut out the girl part. Daisy Ridley and Beyonce. I set this page up on a journal with me um, a couple of months ago. If you guys like those videos, please let me know and I'll continue to make them because otherwise I feel like it gets repetitive since you'll see it in my flip through again. Some fruit fall page. I hate the sparkly washi because like the glitter goes everywhere. A Halloween spread. So I ordered a bunch of washi tapes from Hobby Lobby and I just put it in as like a little tip in. Black and white spread with Nicole Kidman. This is us. How many of you guys watch that show? I love it. It's so so good. I highly recommend it if you haven't. So there was an article in People Magazine about Gossip Girl, so I just cut it out and glued it in and I thought the washi went really well with it since it's New York. Here's a closer look at the washi. I love the cabs, they're so cute. Just some unicorns. I thought this was super pretty. I love the washi tape. Kate Middleton. So it was National Coffee Day and I just made a spread dedicated to coffee because I love it. So this spread is pretty special. Um, it was David Wright's last game playing for the Mets and MLB and I just made a whole spread commemorating his career um, and I put pictures from the times that I've met him or his wax figure in Times Square and then I wrote a letter to him. Uh, the ink kind of came out bad but I just wrote a letter to him and put it in as a tip in. It's the spread for St. Elmo's Fire. I do that a lot. I make spreads that um, represent what I'm into at the time and I think that's great and really shows 
who you were at that point in time. Then a spread with Chrissy Teigen. She tweeted, that's how you pronounce her last name. I've been pronouncing it wrong this whole time. I've always said it Teigen, but it's actually Teigen. Just some rose gold. Getting ready for Halloween here. Just some washi. Another unicorn page. So a pen pal sent me that postcard and I thought that the new washi I got from Hobby Lobby really complimented it well, so I really love this spread. I love this spread. Um, that's just the cutout of Kourtney Kardashian from a magazine. A Breakfast Club spread. I took inspiration from this from a pen pal letter that I made. A Halloween spread and then I went to the Buffalo Zoo, so I just put in the map from that. And then I also went to the Sabres and Rangers game, so I just cut out a little piece of the pamphlet and put it there. A sweets layout, and then I went to the Bills game, so I just cut out a part of the uh, pamphlet thingy and just taped that in. So another fall layout. I got a first game certificate from the Bills game, and these are really nice. If you go to like any professional sports game, you can always go to guest services and they usually have first game certificates. And this one's cool because it already has like the matchup printed. Um, and they also gave me a sticker. And Halloween, a spread for the baseball postseason starting, a shark theme, and then I just made a pocket there and put an article. The day I actually wrote on this spread was National Farmer's Day, which was such a coincidence, so I thought that was really cool. Kind of a rose gold theme with the washi. A Halloween spread. I wish that I had this washi. This was a sample from a pen pal. A red spread. These stickers are from a pen pal. So my pen pal went to the Vans Warped Tour and got me a sticker, and she also sent me a sticker of Gudetama. That is just a tipping with pictures, and I don't want to show people's faces. This was the planner tape that I got in my recent haul, and I absolutely love this tape. It's so cool. Here's a closer look at it. You can see that it's cut, like, in a cool design. It's so cute. A Halloween spread with this black cat um, cutout I got from a magazine, and then just black cat stickers. I love this spread with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Um, I actually decorated this the weekend before they announced that they were expecting and then Monday came and I was like, wow, am I a psychic? But I just think it's so cute because the washi matches Meghan's dress. I just love it. The spread dedicated to caffeine and coffee basically with like a fall twist. How cute are these stickers that my pen pal sent me? I thought that was kind of funny for Halloween. I've decided the easiest thing to do is give up caffeine. If that doesn't scare the hell out of everyone around me, nothing will. A Halloween spread, but I just wanted to get away from like the black and orange typical Halloween spread, so I just made it pink themed. So here I started a series, I guess is what you can call it in my journal, where I glue in ads, Mars ads from magazines. So this is the first one with the Twix bar. Disney Zoom Zooms. This was a postcard that a pen pal sent me and I thought it matched well with the washi tape I had from Hobby Lobby. It was in the travel set, so that was cute. Taylor Swift. So it was National Day on Writing, and I just made a spread dedicated to that with this pencil washi. So here's the second ad. It's the Snickers one. This one's my favorite one. Um, just a couple of pictures of Princess Charlotte and Prince George from a magazine. I thought that it went well with the washi tape. It's super cute. They're both super cute. Halloween again. And then the last part of this series, the M&M is at, and this one's funny. Focus Pocus, and then I played the lottery for the first time because the jackpot was 1.6 billion, I think, so I was like, I'm gonna buy one ticket. And I did. Those are my numbers. I did not win anything. Here, I changed things up a little, and I printed this page out with like a pumpkin border. I don't know, just to change up the pages instead of writing in line paper. I definitely need those lines. I can't write on blank paper because then my writing goes crooked and it just doesn't look good. Washi borders. 
Star Wars spread and there's my lottery ticket that won nothing. I just glued in a playlist there of some songs I've been listening to and then just some washi. So I had this envelope laying around and it matched the washi tape I had so I decided to just glue it in while I was here and I put up a poll on my Instagram emily underscore journals um, for like prompts or like quotes or really anything and I would write it on a piece of paper and then put it in this envelope and that's what I did. The teal spread with Taylor Swift and Meghan Markle. A fall spread. Then lastly just a goodbye and I um, printed out my bitmoji and just put that there. And that is it for this journal. I hope you guys enjoyed this journal flip through. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and possibly even subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys for joining me and I will see you soon. Bye!